Hi guys, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how I prepare the Christmas cake. Um, it's a bit earlier in the year, early in the year guys, for um, Christmas cake, but my subscriber would like to know how I make the Christmas cake, so I wanted to show her how to do that. So guys, I hope you did see where I, when um, the video when I prepared the fruits for the cake. If you did not, you could go and look for that um, video and how I prepared the fruits for the cake. Now it's time to make the cake. I, okay guys, so um, I had the fruits soaking for five days now. So in the wine and the, the red label wine and the white rum. So um, now it's time to prepare the cake and let's get into the video. So guys, here I have my um, my ingredients, my flour, sugar, butter, eggs, flavoring, wine, and um, the fruit soaking. But um, the first thing I'm going to show you guys is how I prepare the the pan for um, baking. So guys, what I did is um, I measured the parchment paper and on, under the bottom of the pan and just cut around. So that I can get my paper on the inside. This prevents the cake from um, sticking to the pan and you having a problem taking out the cake. So um, I lined the baking tin with a parchment paper. I'm just going to use a piece of the same paper here and get some butter and um, grease the pan. You grease the bottom and you grease along the side here. If it prevents the um, cake from sticking into the bottom of the pan you saw what happened in the um with my the Duncan Ironscape skate because I didn't line the pan and also I did not wait for the cake to cool you could still bake your cake without lining it but you have to wait for the cake to cool okay and you have a better outcome using the paper so it's best to line your baking pan with the parchment paper So guys, in my bowl here, I'm going to be creaming eight ounces of sugar, brown sugar. You can use granulated sugar also, the the G sugar, with um eight ounces, eight ounces sugar to eight ounces butter. I'm gonna cream it until it's light, light and fluffy. Okay, guys. So guys, here I am sifting my flour. I have a cup and a half flour here, sifting. I'm gonna put all the dry ingredients together. So here I have one teaspoon cinnamon, half a teaspoon salt, one teaspoon baking powder. So all the dry ingredients go together, guys. One teaspoon baking powder. So guys, I put away this all spice because it should not be here. And um, I don't have any mixed spice, so I'm just gonna put um, like just three dashes of the clove, or a few dashes of the clove. And um, yeah, so that's my dry ingredient. And then now I'm gonna cream the, um, I'm just gonna set this aside and cream my, my sugar and um, butter, guys. Sugar and butter must be cream until light and fluffy. So guys, in this recipe, I'm using four eggs and then um, remember to cook, cook, um, break your egg in a separate container before you go adding it onto your mixture. On this process, guys, guys, you don't want to hurry it, right? You want to make sure you um, take time, oh, five minutes more, ten minutes, make sure you get a your butter and sugar is fluffy before you start adding, adding your eggs and the eggs don't add them like all at once like make sure one egg is, egg, egg is mixed out before you add the other egg because you don't want the mixture to curdle right so you're gonna thoroughly mix one egg in you could also use your hand to do this guys with a wooden spoon you can get a cheap hand blender uh, hand mixer to buy a cheap hand mixer or as well as if you have one of those other bigger ones i'm not making a lot of cake so i don't need the big mixer the hand mixer is fine as well as you could use your hand but your hand with the wooden spoon but it takes a while to you know get the 
sugar and the butter to become fluffy using your hand like it's harder that way. So now I'm going to be adding my eggs alternately, but I'm um, making sure one egg is mixed out before you add the other egg to prevent curdling. Scrape the sides. Scrape the sides to make sure you're getting everything all um, mixed in. This is the second egg, guys. My third egg. Now it's the last egg. Guys, I poured the fruits out and I, I got only a cup and there's not much left. So I'm just gonna use all the fruits that I prepared, okay? So after you cream your, um, sugar and butter you put your eggs then now it's time to add the fruits so i'm gonna be adding the fruits and mixing it in folding it into the that's, and all the mixture that's all i'm using all the mixture i'm pouring it into the mixture here and then i'm gonna fold in my cup and a half of flour i have here okay the flour goes in next and i have the oven pre-eaten at 350 degree the oven So guys, I added um, a teaspoon of vanilla to this mixture. I added like a quarter teaspoon of the rose water. The rose water is optional. And then I'm going to be adding my brown in. And then I'm going to be grating some of the lime rind and put some of like a tablespoon of lime. And I'm going to be putting some nutmeg. Okay guys, so now it's time to put the brown in. So that's one tablespoon. Guys, they have the browning that says gravy browning, but this is, I like the one that has the cake, the picture of the cake on it. I don't like the, buying the, using the gravy browning in, on, onto the cake. So two tablespoons of browning. Okay, i rather the one with the picture of the cake, not the, the gravy. So guys, my two tablespoons of browning is mixed in. I grated like maybe like a quarter teaspoon of um, nutmeg, and then I'm grating the lime rind. And then I'm just going to be cutting the lime in two and putting like a tablespoon of lime juice. And then now I'm going to be folding in the flour after. Okay guys, so it's a skin of the, the lime or lemon. And then now guys, it's time to put the dry ingredient, the flour with the, um, you saw earlier what I put into the flour, the cinnamon and salt and baking powder. And um, yeah, now it's time to fold in your flour. Okay, so you can divide your flour like in three parts or four parts and a little at a time. It's a cup and a half. So yeah, and then you fold in. You fold this way. Okay, this way you pull in and then around fold your flour. When that is folded in, then you add like, you know, in, in four parts or three parts, you add the other the rest. And if you find at the end your cake is not as brown as you would want it, you could add like a little bit more brown in. Like maybe a half a teaspoon, but I'll see how it looks at the when I'm finished folding. So guys, after I added the tablespoon of wine, um, the, I mean the tablespoon of lime juice, guys, now I, I, I put in all the flour. Now this consistency, it's not dropping, okay? So I'm just going to be like measuring. I'm not, I don't want to put too much wine, so I'm going to add red label wine this dry ingredient cup I'm putting like half until I get a drop in consistency like if it's not dropping I'll add more and it's dropping like in the Duncan Nines video then it's fine yeah it's not dropping so maybe I'll be using all of this wine so guys I won't add any I used all the wine that I showed you that I measured and I'm just gonna add it just a bit more brown in okay like maybe a quarter teaspoon some people like it they're um, like to put a lot of brown in and I think, and then after this, I'll, I'll pour it out in the, um, the baked tin 
and then um yeah i showed you i lined the bacon and then i'm gonna put to bake for about an hour and a half after an hour i'll check it 45 minutes i'll check it okay guys at 350 degree on second thought guys i think i'm gonna pour this more wine because look at the consistency see it's a bit thick so i'm gonna be just pour now guys the consistency is not bad so i'm gonna pour it in and um if you want you can add more, more browning but i won't put any more browning let me just stomp it make sure there's no air guys and this is going into the oven right now to um, bake okay these two containers are going into the oven so in an, in an hour and a half we'll see how it looks at 350 degrees get in there guys almost done almost done look guys my cake here is not looking too bad let me put an insert a knife in the middle and it's all clean the knife so it's this is done but the other one is still in the oven when it comes out then we'll take a look at both so guys while the other one is still in the oven I turned the oven down I'm just gonna put some wine over this one while it's still hot Guys, look how great this looks that's the only thing with the knife I can't find my screw guys you put it in and um, if your knife comes out clean I think it's done like I've been testing other places I don't want to put it in it gets too brown but I'm good here. If it, this doesn't come out clean, I'm putting it back. Yeah, there it is, yeah. So it's done. So I'm just gonna um, wet this cake while it's hot with some wine. If you have a spray bottle, guys, you can spray it. You could also put some um, the white rum, but I won't put any white rum, I'll just... My favorite is the red label wine. The white rum, rum is too strong, guys. Okay. But it's the choice is yours. Just wet it with some. And when it cools, I'll take it out the pan. So guys, this is what happens when you wait for your cake to cool. See, it came it came out nicely. It did not stick. And I'm just waiting for this one to cool. And I'll turn it out for you to see. And it smells good. It tastes good, guys. The crumb tastes good. Look at that guys look at that beauty i'm telling you guys the paper the parchment paper serves a purpose it serves its purpose and guys ask me where i got my skill in bacon most of it i learned from my mother as a child growing up i learned to bake i watched my mom bake i helped her prepare her pans and stuff like that look how gorgeous that looks guys give the video a thumbs up Please give the video. So guys, let me just quickly cut into this cake and then um, I'll taste for you to see. See the texture guys? Look how beautiful that looks. See guys, it just needs to cool some more. Also, let me cut into this one, guys, for you to see. See guys? Looking good. And just let me do a taste test for you. But for me guys, you know when the taste, taste start tasting good, tasting good when it's like a day old. It tastes good, but I, I love cake when it's like it sits for like past six hours then. But at this point it's tasting good, let, let, let alone um, within 24 hours. It's good. I'm happy. I'm happy with the texture, happy with the taste guys, honestly. This is the smaller one, honestly. I'm happy with the taste and I approve. See? Taste is great. Mmm. Guys, please give this video a thumbs up and um, comment down below. And thanks for watching guys and um, you have enjoy the rest of your day.